despite demand for new cars across Europe falling. Luxury manufacturer Rolls-Royce has seen a surge in sales this year. Much of it due to their unique bespoke offering, whereby a client can specify their own personalised features. Our customers are, are very used to um, specifying things themselves, not choosing things from lists. So whether it's commissioning a yacht or designing a holiday home, they're used to coming up with their own ideas, working with people who can make suggestions. And commissioning a Rolls-Royce is exactly that, that same mindset. And it's something that our customers are, um, expect and are comfortable with. And we're more than happy to, to work with them to, to come up with some very, very good solutions. 80% of all Phantoms that leave the line have some element of bespoke, whether it's a, a modest feature or a very bold, uh, unique, curated, engineered feature. And I would say that on a global level, about 60% of our sales at the moment for bespoke are happening in the Middle East and Asia Pacific markets, where many of our clients there have very exacting standards and expectations of what bespoke delivers. Manufacturing luxury cars requires the very highest standards of craftsmanship. Within the factory you'll find people who've got particular capabilities, whether it's leather trimming or handling wood or um, embroidery, and, and people who've had their skills nurtured and are given the ability to be creative with what they do. And we've got a lot of very enthusiastic people, so when we come up with ideas, it, it inspires other people within the business to contribute their ideas as well, so that it's not just us that are creating the cars as designers. We feel that uh, everybody has an opportunity to, to contribute to a particular project. The things that I really enjoy are things where the feature goes beyond functionality. So it brings in a little bit of entertainment and a little bit of theater that puts a smile on people's faces. So we've done a number of, of features like the, the picnic camper, like uh, some of our cup holders that are all milled from solid aluminium and they're ridiculously almost Victorian levels of, of engineering that goes into something as, you know, on conventional cars, as mundane as a cup holder, but it, it's a bit of entertainment. And features like that, so maybe a humidor that offers the cigars to you or a drinks cabinet where it lights up when you slide a lid back, all these things where it's just fantastically over the top, but it's, it's what you'd expect on a, on a Rolls-Royce. <laughs>